Hello and welcome, I'm Aruma, thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Poland... Strong, pugnacious Poland. We're gonna do it anyway, I don't care. Um, we're not gonna call our allies directly. We're gonna declare this war, we're just gonna see what happens. Um, so we're gonna commit... Four troops to this from here, and then from here we're gonna grab... You. That should be five. They've called in France. Combat width is 120, we're only using 100. Let's commit one more. Look at that, 440 soft attack, 300% advantage due to uh, planning bonus, 80%. We've got a pretty good commander. Uh, we need to deploy the air. Soviet Union wants to join the war. Uh, no. You can't, you're not allowed. We deploy what minimalistic fighters and Navy and Air Force and crap we have. We are losing. Attacker, 10 divisions from Romania. Um, I may have gone a little bit light on the defense over here. We got too many troops on this side here. Um, these guys, let's deselect two and assign the rest of these guys to that front. Are you, are you gonna move? What are you doing? Well, we did breach that line pretty damn quick. But we do need to reinforce here. We've got joint request force from Soviet Union, Mongolia, and other people. Um, we're not gonna let them join yet because I want control of all of this territory uh, You guys are quite weak, so we will engage We'll keep on pressing forward same thing here. You're very weak, so we'll press forward uh, Airfields Northern banks sign all Close air support air superiority close air support It's a lot of airplanes man. Look at that. It's like 60 whole airplanes. So the bad news is that we're at war with France. Uh, good news is that we're not actually at war with the, uh, the Allies yet, because it looks like, I don't know, France hasn't called them in yet, or something. What's it gonna take, I wonder, to get this guy to capitulate? Uh, Romania... It's 35% and then France. Hmm. I'd really like to wait for four troops to engage that. Where's your capital, Romania? Bucharest? We're marching that way. We're gonna avoid those mountains. Um, looks like they are trying to strategically redeploy. This is the Russian border. I'm not sure exactly why we have troops staged there. They should be here. This is quite a few troops. I think we can try and engage in there. Moving into the forest. The four troops. The mountaineers are low on, on stuff. Concentrated industry is now complete, so that's pretty good. Factory repair speed seems good. Insufficient resources. I think we just moved to take that mountain now. Crossing this river seems like a bad idea. Our soft attack values are very good. More 
overrunning their organization. You're just pushing them down. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Got a weak point here again. Up here. I think we press that way. Ignore the river. Uh, we modify the line so that they don't try to defend that tile there. You're defending. Uh, you could really use some support. That guy is low on enthusiasm. Ah, there's more than one guy there, isn't there? There is. Missing equipment. No template. Toad anti-tank. Okay, it's fine. We press this way, try to encircle whatever troops we can get to retreat over in that direction. Might only be one one man, but just advance two. Quick encirclement. Feel that? Ah, shoot! We got cut off. That's not good. That's not encircling. Alright, I think I'm gonna clear my orders again. I'm gonna redraw the line. We need to, we desperately need to reconnect these troops. They are suffering greatly due to lack of a supplies. Come on, help him out. We lost. We're losing them. We lost four troops. Just they're all they're all dead. Crap. Horrible. 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 That was horrible. I really messed up bad there. Um. Okay, uh, we're ahead of time here. Uh, infantry equipment mechanized. Air wings with no mission. What? What you talking about, Willis? All right. Um. Ba bum. Ba 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 bum. We're ahead of time on that. Already doing that. I think resource gain is something we're gonna need. We're we do produce some steel now. We produce 28 steel. So if we could get some more steel, that would help out with factories. And if we continue to expand, that would be good. Units are still coming out. Um, production of artillery is still our shortage. So, artillery, toad artillery, we put that higher up on the list then. Give it some more factories. Should be at 8. Um, I'm not going to go beyond 8. I don't like that it limits you to 15. Um, we're just going to create a second line. So we'll do toad artillery 2 and we'll go to 8. Because that's just like, if I'm going to import the tungsten, I'd rather import the tungsten twice at 8 instead of having 15 and 1, if that makes sense. I don't understand why there's a limit of 15 factories. It seems kind of silly to me. Uh, these guys versus some cav. Sure, sounds good. There's a lot of dudes there. What we need to do is actually, like, get an encirclement going. Otherwise, 
Otherwise, we're having a hard time actually... Actually, like, killing off the, the, the troops, you know? Want those radar stations? I think they're important. Okay, we are advancing here. Defending, which is going to be an easy defense. We're again, we're defending. Um. Our ability to crush their organization is fantastic. We can encircle these two. I don't see myself making that mistake again where I lose four, four regiments and get cut off. You are now encircled. Um, I don't want to give up this river, so I think that uh, we do engage. Take over his airfield. Their organization is just in shambles. And we lack tungsten and steel. We'll go short on the tungsten for now, but the steel... Or the... Yeah, the steel we need. We got a bonus to land doctrine. We should be working on Grand Assault. Breakthrough, plus 10%. Yes. Trying to win this war by myself is, uh... I'm counting on the fact that, uh... That Germany's not going to give him any military access. He is retreating all the way back to Bucharest. With everything he's got. How are we doing on our planning bonus? It's coming down quite a bit. Um, let's make sure that there is a plan, so that if they're just standing around, they're getting a planning bonus. Meanwhile, we're going to march through ourselves. Danziger War. Italy just joined the Axis. Okay, let's make a deal. Else, maybe they'll turn elsewhere. Danzig will remain Gdansk. Okay, so the German Reich declares war on the Polish People's Republic. Um, I guess we find out now whether or not you being at 200 opinion means you'll defend me. Um, so, no, we're going to war. Call to arms. And they are not allowed. I can't call them into the war. Polish People's Republic is called Tanu. Mongolia. No, okay, wait. He is at war with... Okay, so he... Yeah, you are gonna fight us. You bastard. Okay, so I'm not calling you into this war, though. We got 60 regiments over here. Um, it's pretty sparse. Um, but we're dug in. 30% entrenchment. We've got some forts. Forts are at level... Well, some of them. <laughs> some of them got done. Uh, meanwhile, we're waging war with Romania at the same time. And France. Um... We're probably going to have to pull all these troops off of this engagement 
at some point to go and help out against Germany. I'm assuming he's going to enact a plan, like, right, right away. Hungary just joined the Axis. Germany breaks the molotov ribbentrop Pact. Okay. Okay, um, do we start to manually try to engage? Um, I think the answer is yes, where possible. Although that'll be giving up our forts and our, our, our defensive bonus. So no, I don't think we do that. However, the locations where we don't have the forts done, like down here, it would make a lot of sense, I think, to try to press forward and engage. If we could shore up this line and make it so that there's a little bit less for us to defend, then that would be great. If we could, like, get to here and maybe defend just up to this river. I don't think he's going to have troops down there. By the way, if Hungary joined the Axis, he's going to join the war soon, which means that we're looking at a solid 35 to 63 troops that are going to suddenly be at our our back door. There they are. Yep. Okay, that's, that's not good at all. Uh, that means that this line needs to get extended to all of that. Son of a bitch. Um... That's bad. Yeah, that's bad. That's a lot of troops getting redeployed to try to, uh, to hold the line. But Romania's mine, Russia. You flood the borders. I'm buying you time. I'm buying you time with my forts. I expect you to get your ass over there and defend my front line. Here they come. I'm just trying to hold the line for the moment. Surprised they're not pressing in more. Okay, so we've re very quickly, the, our organization was garbage, but we were able to redeploy and get over there quickly. An aggression pact request in the UK. Sure, I don't plan on attacking you. Yet. Eventually, we've got to just take these fights. Maybe my one infantry is stronger, no? Please, please stop strategically redeploying my men. Please stop. Okay, so the Russians are, are definitely helping to defend the front line. This is good. This is good. Romania is going to be ours because we didn't call them into that war. Um, who, who knows what the hell France is doing. I think we can press here. Which means we can also cross this river. And maybe surround you. Depends on when you arrive. No, you're not going to let me do it. Okay, uh, press into that mountain. There's too many troops, though. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's mountains, right? It is. So the mountaineer can go. Let's grab uh, you and you. It's the wrong way to do it. Apparently, you deselect. Regular infantry can march just over here and just hold the line. Republican Spain just finished their civil war. About damn time, if you ask me. End of the Spanish Civil War. 
1939, World War II is uh, in full effect. It's a bad engagement. German forces have advanced on the Polish People's Republic. Excuse me? The fall of Warsaw? Oh my god! Holy shit! I totally forgot about the Northern Exclave. Oh my god. Um... Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Crap. That's bad. That's really bad. We're like close to capitulating because of that. Maybe this whole Romanian war thing was a bad idea. It's possible. The fact that we're at war with France doesn't seem to matter. And also, I'm noticing that Russia doesn't seem to care at all about any of this. It's just me defending this line. Okay, so first things first, we need a plan to like get Warsaw back. Um, like, right away. The problem is that they just, they strategically redeployed, so they have low organization. Well, some of them do. We're gonna take Warsaw back, like, right away. Alright, let's get focused back down here in Romania again. Um... How do we keep on poking the beast? Where can we advance? We're kind of sparse. The problem is I lost those four divisions. We, we were at 24. And I just, like, lost 24 divisions because I let them get surrounded. Looks like this is probably the best option. Like eight tungsten now. All right, cool. Sounds like we got some new factories that came online. We're making something. No location set. Uh, here, reinforcing to the green front line. We're missing equipment production. Fighters, close air supports, tactical bottom bombers. Don't really care about those. Don't care about air. Let's see if we can take this this river. We're defending right now. Five troops there. We 
can advance across the river, that would be good. We're losing this fight, but not for long. There's a lot of troops there. We're almost to Bucharest. If I could just get this guy to capitulate, then I could focus all my attention on... ...on Germany. And get my land back up north. We got Warsaw, thankfully, like, we're holding it, but, um, we're spread so thin. Ah, I probably could have taken that exclave so quickly, had I, uh... Go ahead, leave Bucharest, I dare ya. Cross that major river? This is like a bad idea. Giving up our supply route though, that also seems like a pretty bad idea. This seems like something we could probably win. behind that river. The attacker is winning. Hey man, the Russians are here, so... Main thing is, I've got to get back this land. I've, I've got to win this Romanian war, get them to capitulate, so that I can take all my troops... 39% towards towards capitulation, but this is worth 20 victory points. This is worth 3. It'd be nice if you could see, like, how many total victory points they have, so you know how close you are. Yeah, we got Bucharest. That's probably pretty big. Yeah, he's totally there. That was it. He's gonna capitulate. Treaty of Brussels. Awesome. Uh, conquer, uh, take all states. End turn. Done. Okay, uh, we are still at war with France, the Polish-Romanian War. Now we're at war with the UK, the British Raj as well. It's fine, whatever. All that matters is that we took over Romania. We're badasses. Um... Or something. Romania still controls some territory here. Let's get our front lines organized. What the hell is this? France controls land over here. Okay. Uh, we've got land that's exclaved. Ugh. Ugh! Oh my god! First things first, I think we need a front line up here. Um... With these guys. And they are going to go this way. Take that land back. Meanwhile, down here on the... This front. We need to reconnect this land. How the hell did France suddenly do this? When did that happen? Now we're with Canada. So apparently attacking Romania may have been a bad idea. Possible. We're low on manpower. Insufficient resources. We lack tungsten. We're making toad anti tanks. We're not using them. We've got 52 of them. Wow. So useful. Um. Well, it only adds one one combat width, and takes 36 anti-tank. So let's do this: reset, duplicate, inf, inf seven, plus art one plus at one, and then we add the anti-tank. Save. And then we just, just grab a division, I don't know, somewhere. Preferably one of the divisions that's, uh, inf 8 art, whatever.
you get some stuff. Why did your combat with just go down? This combat with should be 20. World War Two, serious, serious World War. Okay, we've got two divisions assigned down here, purple. Um, we're apparently not at war with this guy, Romania, even though we just conquered him. Um, It's not considered to be a front line. What the hell? Visions assigned to this order. Two. Yes. But then it says that they have unable to move to a province along its path. What are you talking about? Get over there. Let's defend that province. Send volunteers. We accept. How do you feel about your plan? Pretty bad? I'm pretty sure you're gonna do it almost anyway. Main reason is probably because you are still redeploying. No, you're still- you just think they're just stronger. Okay. Fair enough. But, I disagree. They have low or they have low organization. We've got lots of artillery. I just straight up disagree with you. I think that you're an idiot and that you need to attack. This whole exclave thing is horrible. What are we gonna do about this? 8% attrition. Okay, we gotta fix this problem. I'm gonna take a break here. I'll see you again in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.